Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 3 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to add in our interior walls. And also we added some doors and then our, our sliding door right here. Now we're gonna continue working on this. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add a marker. Uh, we could use annotate just to have a marker like so and from this I'm just going to grab it from here so that we could have it um, reference this uh, a grid line and then we could just put 9000 so that's how far you want our um, boundary wall would be so here I'm going to extend this one just like that and we could add in another wall so I'm just going to select the exterior wall and then we could just or we could just click on wall press escape on that click on wall and then here we could edit duplicate and this will be border wall click op OK edit and let's change this to a different let's change this to a different material so I'm just going to add maybe a concrete block pattern click apply OK and then OK so this is just our border wall I'm going to click it from here on our A5, uh, E5 up to the annotation line and going to number one grid line and going back here and connecting it right about here before we connect this so as you can see I'm de just deleting this before we connect this um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select this one and then click on tab and select it again it will basically highlight everything right here and what I want to do is to have a top offset um, as you can see uh, it's unconnected it's not connected to any I'm going to connect it to up to the level 2 and then top offset of negative 1500 click apply and I know it's kind of short but that's how I want it um, we could ch keep on changing this so maybe negative 500 only and then click apply on that and also right here if you notice we have uh, we forgot to connect all of our panels so all of our panels should be um, connected to level 2 so what I did right now is I'm going to select all of them once you select all of them you can use filter under modify this will allow you to uncheck the ones that you don't want to so for in this instance this uh, this doors are not included I just want all the walls so once we click all the walls if you notice we can connect it to the top constraint of level 2 so now everything is in proper height now here we could just set this one to negative 1000 and then we're good to go with the border wall go back to level 1 select this one and then just connect it and everything is connected um, we have already seen our border wall we can then now add in more information here uh, for instance here is a, a walkway going towards at the back um, what I'm gonna do is uh, we could actually extend this or we could just select this border wall CS and then just 
add in a border wall we could ju then just add uh, a door here later on uh, for the entrance and then here we could um, add in our deck and then an extension of uh, the dining area um, we want we, I basically basically want an in indoor and then an outdoor space for the dining area uh, where you, we have a deck and then we also have um, stuff right here um, so what I'm gonna do now is go to our ground floor uh, from our ground floor we could just extend this and then so that everything is extended um, now if you see um, we could create our deck from here um, knowing that this is going downwards from here um, so here I'm going to select this I want this base offset to be up to the ground and at the same time we need all of this to be base offset to ground as well so let's put it in ground so everything is in the ground so now everything is like that we're going to have a stairs here uh, we could also have a stair or a deck stair right here and then here as well for the for the part here so what I'm gonna do is we're going to um, go to our ground floor and then click on floor um, edit this type and then here we need to duplicate this will be floor number one and then our floor number one will be our deck so I want to change this edit the thickness to 200 so all of our all of our floors I want their thickness to be in 200 and then here I want to change this to basically wood because this is a deck I want it to be wood and then I want to put maybe walnut just to be just to see the difference in color and then here I usually is I usually add a rectangle first and then from there I change it a bit so here and then maybe we could just extend this one right about there and then we could just select this one right there right there we could put a uh, grass here actually and then here select that trim this just to be sure that everything is trimmed this is TR trim and extend this is basically the uh, icon that you need to press and you can press TR in your keyboard shortcut to make it short I'm gonna undo that I'm going to click it like that undo this this one should be on this one and then here I'm going to align this AL I want to align it on this one so that everything is aligned and this will basically be the deck part and then I'm going to add another deck for the stairs here um, so I'm gonna click finish on this and then we're going to add a swimming pool right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a wall um, instead of border wall we're going to duplicate this this will be pool wall press OK edit type let's change the material uh, usually something tile so maybe we could just put a tile pattern no, we could just use this just to change it up so that's a tile pattern 
uh, reset beans constraint I'm going to put it the ground up to maybe first floor for now and then change it afterwards I usually just add this one first I'm going to use my arrow key just to change and then AL to align it right here so that we could just extend and then we could have our deck extending here so I want some spacing right here and then I'm happy with this um, and then I'm going to check it out here obviously we're going to extend this so I use my tab key so that everything is highlighted again what you need to do is you can just hover onto the pa um, the wall here you can press tab and it will highlight everything and you just need to click it so that everything is highlighted all together um, what we could do is we could base offset this to around maybe 2000 so that it just goes down a little bit and then from the first floor um, not the first floor so the top offset of the first floor I just want it to be negative 400 because I know it's 600 right 600 so just uh, a little bit up 200 up above it so once we create the floor here um, usually I'm gonna change the flooring here um, so what I'm gonna do is another floor edit type duplicate this will be floor number two um, maybe another tile I'm going to set it with another tile and then this will be maybe the porcelain just to change it up so the other one is different and then this one's a different as well so use rectangle and then rectangle and then I fix it from there TR trim and extend delete this delete this and then just connect this one click finish and then here we could extend this edit modify here rectangle as well and then delete this and then maybe we could just extend this or align it first and then here what we could do is trim this TR trim this one we could just unjoin this for now and then click finish so now we have this we have this um, maybe we could just extend this one as well right here at the back so that we at least finish up everything so here just trim this uh, you can just delete this as well trim this as well so just clean that one and then I'm planning to add grass on this part so and um, that's another floor um, edit type duplicate this will be floor number three and this will be the grass invalid material so we just need to pull it up first from here So I'm just going to check grass and then pull it up, apply, OK, and then OK. Let's put in the grass right here. Rectangle first so that you cover most of it. And then just delete the ones that will be deleted anyway or overlapping so once you do that 
you have this as grass and if you notice we still have something of an overlap here uh, what we could do is I want the deck to be above it so if you notice we have this one um, I want this and then here we have an overlap as well here so maybe we could just do negative 600 so that everything is flush but at the same time here I want it to be above it so height offset of probably 200 okay so we have a deck and then there's an overlap um, what I'm gonna do is maybe I'll do the 200 so negative 400 again so that it's aligned with this but at the same time we have this one like so so that's fine because at least 200 only for a step on that and then I'm going to cover the two steps that we have right here I'm just gonna use this one um, I believe floor number one uh, but instead of a floor I'm going to use the in, um, model in place so I'm going to use the walnut so that it's easier to um, to maneuver so here model in place and then here I'm going to put it at gen generic model and then here extrusion and then here we're going to put walnut it recognize it and then here I'm just going to add a walnut right here click finish I can extend it manually and then I could edit this one so that it covers this one as well so at least I have this one covering that and then we could just delete this trim and it's easy to manipulate once we're here and then we, you don't need to click finish again we could create on top of it but we need to uh, to set pick up work plane I'm gonna choose this so that it is above this one so we don't need to set the height delete this and then trim this up so basically that's identical click finish and finish let's look at it at 3d so that everybody can visualize it so here I want to extrude it from the top and then above this one as well so at least this one is maneuverable it's easy to manipulate how big or how wide you want it to go and we could just have that one And we could just even align it al align it at the top here and then i want it to be aligned at the base of this there we go so now everything is looking good so at least it's the same um the same finish as well so if you keep if you want you can keep on extending those and then extend this so depending on how you want it you want it to be maneuverable like that and then we have a deck inclined uh, 
outwards like that and then we need to finish up this part um, we're going to use the same materials that we have on the border wall um, I believe this is concrete block pattern form it shouldn't be because this should be the pool wall so I'm gonna choose pool wall tile stone ceramic mix so I'm gonna copy that and then here model in place again and then generic model and I'm just going to add this extrusion right here should be rectangle and then click on f before you click on finish change it to that material and then click on finish and then we could basically change the height from here so it's easier we don't need to make it hard we don't need to um, do some mats so we could just basically um, maneuver it from our eyesight and then another one for the water so here we're going to model in place again generic model and then choose extrusion and this will be water not sure if we already set the water if not it will let you know that it's invalid and then we need to sh uh, check it from here search it and then there you go we have water material right there and we could just put extrusion and then most of the time it's all the way at the top we just need to change it a bit put it downwards and then just a little bit at the top I think that's good enough we have water and then we have something like that uh, and then for now um, we could add in a door right here uh, let's add the same door what we have here just to show that there's an opening there we could maximize this space uh, we're going to add a kitchen right here and let's stop here for now and continue on the next video thank you for watching and hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below